Welcome back. We are with Chef John from the Cutting Edge Classroom. He's joining us today for a very special day. Yes. It is National Crim Brulee Day. But before we get to that, you said you have some really special people watching the show. Yes, I have a bunch of children taking a class at our camp at the school, and I just wanted to shout out and say hi to them. And they're watching right now. Oh, if that I forgot is so to do cool. that, I'd be in big trouble. Well, so hey, guys, we are so glad you're watching and everyone else is here. We're going to tackle a dish that intimidates a lot of people, including me, creme brulee. But it's National Creme Brulee Day, so we got to learn how to do it. Yes, we do. And okay. uh, it's a very simple dish. There's not a lot of ingredients. I have uh, some sugar here right. and some egg yolks that I separated. And we are going to whisk these. Okay. Simple now, typically, enough. you would do this for a couple minutes until they got really light. Uh huh. But we don't have that much time, so We're I'm just going to incorporate them. Yes. All right. So once you you whip these enough, so they start turning light, they foam up a little bit. What we're going to do, I'm just going to sneak over here. All right. And we're going to temper the egg. So if you don't mind stirring while you want I add me? this, okay. sure. I am, this is I am hot out of your cream, way, so heavy cream at about. Uh, 200 degrees or so and I'm just going to add that in and the reason you do that is because if you add it all in at once you might end up with scrambled eggs and that we don't want and you so. can smell that right when it oh comes yeah that's in. great and I'm also going to add some vanilla all right so that goes in and then smell we could too. just go ahead and add the rest of the cream I'm going to do this really but you don't small. add it all at once you say right and then go okay. ahead and stir yeah, because we already tempered it, so we're safe. All right. Then what we would do is just pour that into ramekins, which are in a, a water bath, and they go into the oven, 20 minutes on 350, they're done. And that's all it takes. That's all it takes. And so really when those simple. come out, you're dealing with this? We're dealing with this. So these so came out of the oven and basically went into the refrigerator overnight just to cool off. Even a couple hours would be enough. And the next step is to torch them. So we're going to torch them. And before we torch them, <laughs> we just want to say that we are safety first here and so you're gonna man that and you want me to man the torch yes, you said. Yes, that's what that's <laughs> okay. why we have that. So, so what we do is we go ahead and coat them with sugar. I'm gonna show you how to light that in a second. Alright, well there's, it looks like there's a safety on this thing. There is and we need wow. that for sure. So okay so once you coat them with sugar and you don't want to be afraid to put a little bit on there. Okay. I'll go ahead and fire this up for you. Please, please do. This is a, basically a brulee torch. Wow. And I think that's a good setting right there. And you're just Great. going to go ahead and caramelize the sugar on top. All right. There it is. Wow. Until it starts bubbling up. And that's And what will happen, since these are cold, when he's done, it'll harden up into a, a kind of a kind of a nice caramelized sugar coating on top that you would crack when you eat it. So it's really nice. And that's how it's done. You did a great job. Okay. We don't no, need no this. No fires we're here? Good. Yeah, we don't yeah, need that. Good. All right, let's. I want to save some of your gas here. How okay, do we we're good. Uh, I'll shut it off. That? All right. <laughs> Perfect. Well done. Well, thank you for letting me torch your creme brulee. No problem. Feel Happy like we to knew do how that. to do this. So uh, this is. I mean, this really is great that someone can kind of knock out in short notice. Yes, it doesn't take long at all. You can make this whole dish in about a half hour uh, with cook time about an hour. All right. Well, Chef John, thank you so much thank for you. coming I on. Really appreciate it. having you. Had fun. Thank yes, you. Yes, sir. Well, coming up, this hound dog just wants to take a nap, but his enemy keeps chugging along. What's